Hello everyone, welcome to All I Mass TV. Here we are again, we have a challenge on the board. It's a radical equation that looks so as simple, but it's not as simple as you may think. Now I'll be solving this radical equation with one of the best online math tutor, and that is the person of Dr. PK. Now we'll be using a different approach to solve this. We'll be using two different approaches in solving this uh, radical equation. I'll be using the algebraic method and Dr. P.K. will be using the um, trigonometrical method. Now, Dr. P.K. is one of the best when it comes to uh, solving a rhetorical um, Olympiad math question. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below where you can access his YouTube channel for um, more solution to rhetorical Olympiad math challenge. Dr. P.K. is good at what he does. And when you visit his channel, you will be glad you did. All right. So the question, straightforward, reads x to the power of 3 minus 3x three equal to the square root of x plus 2. Well, x said x belongs to a set of real number. So how do we now solve this uh, rhetorical challenge? Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is all I must TV. We will learn mathematics all the time. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, do it to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop an amazing video. Okay, now, without much waste of time, let's take our solution down. So here we have solution. Solution. So we have here your x to the power of 3, then minus 3x equal to the square root of your x plus 2. Like I said, using the algebraic method, the first thing we're going to do here is to take care of this uh, radical. How do we now eliminate this radical? This is a square root. So we square both sides of the equation. So if we square this, we equally square this according to the law of the equation that whatever you do to the right-hand side, you must do to the left-hand side. And so this, this will leave the system. This guy will be exposed. So what we do here now, we use binomial expansion to open up this. So if we expand this using binomial expansion, we're going to come up with your s to the 6 minus your 6x to the power of 4, then plus your 9x squared, or equal to your x plus 2. What we do here, move every term on the uh, right-hand side to the left-hand side of our equation. So here we're going to have your x to the power of 6 minus 6 x to the power of 4 plus 9x squared minus x minus 2 or equal to 0. Now, if you look at this, this is a Hesic equation, a 6 degree polynomial equation. How do we solve this 6 degree polynomial equation? The first thing we're going to do here, we're going to use what we call the trial by error method. And if you try one, positive one, it will not give us zero if you try negative one to not give us zero if you try um negative two it will not give us zero but if you try positive two it will give us zero so using that trial by error method we're going to have our x minus two equal to zero is one of the factors of this six degree polynomial equation now that we've gotten this as a factor we go ahead to use this to divide everything yeah, I could have swear done that, but because of time constraint, you can use it on your own. You can go ahead to divide. But when I use this to divide all through, then I come up with what occurred is fifth degree polynomial equation. And which gives us here your x to the power of 5, then plus 2x to the power of 4 minus 2 x to the power of 3 minus 4x to the power of 2 plus x plus 1 close bracket equal to 0. Okay, so this is our fifth degree polynomial equation. I tried factorizing this down and I was only able to come up with two equation again one quadratic equation and the other one trinomial equation from x so we're going to get three cases from this expression here now this and two other cases from here all right so when i factorize this 
I came up with your x minus 2 bracket bracket your x squared the flux your x the minus 1 close bracket bracket your x to the power of uh, 3 plus your x squared the minus 2x the uh, minus 1 close bracket equal to 0 very easy now if you look at this we have case 1 case 2 and case 3 now case 1 is straightforward to solve so from here we're going to have our case 1 let's take case 1 case 1 we have your x minus 2 is 2 please x minus 2 equal to 0 so therefore our x1 is equal to 2 so we we'll solve for x1 now let's take case 2 to solve for our x here we are expected to get two roots from here so again let's rule out this all right case 2 we have our x squared the um, blocks our x minus one equal to zero we cannot use factorization method here so let's use the um formula method so we have our x equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac okay 4 ac then all over 2 a from here our a is plus 1, b is plus 1, c is minus 1. So let's go ahead and substitute this. So if we substitute, we have minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 all over 2 dot 1, which is your dot here means multiplication. So if we go ahead to simplify this, we're going to have minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 square will give us 1. Then minus times minus gives us plus. Then 4 times 4 times 1 will give us 4. Everything here all over 2. Again, we can continue on this side. So if we add this, we're left with your minus 1 plus the square root of 5 all over your 2 here. We have two solutions here. We have the one with plus and the one with minus. So therefore, our x1, sorry, s2 is equal to, if we simplify this, we're going to have this to be your 5, square root of 5, okay, all over 2, then minus 1 all over 2. This is our case root 2, okay? Then let's get our x3, our s3 is equal to, we bring out the minus sign, so minus bracket, your 1 all over 2 plus root 5 all over 2. This is our, our x3 from here, x3, okay? So we have our x2, s1 here. This is our x1, which is a software to be your 2. The, our x2 is this, and our x3 is this all right now let's take the last case here now if you take a good look at this last case here this actually gave me a big tough time i tried solving this but i ran into some um big challenges and so if you have a better way of solving case three here then uh, leave it in the comment section below okay so that we can probably learn from you too okay but this radical as far as this radical is concerned this will fit into the equation and this will also fit into the equation and this will also fit into the equation but as for this i had issues solving this okay so in the comment section drop your solution to this part of this uh equation which is the trinomial part in this regard okay because we are we are here to learn from you too okay we want to hear we want to see your comments uh from the best brain all around the world with regards to this trinomial equation Okay, again, this is Online Mass TV. And like I told you earlier on, visit Dr. PK channel where you get the um, trigonometrical method in solving this radical equation. Like I said, he's good at what he does. And when you visit his channel, you'll be glad you did. Again, Jax is my name. And this is Online Mass TV. Remember, we love you because you are always there. You are the reason for this channel. Thanks for being there all the time. I love you. And everyone at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye.
பண்ணா 